The one to my other apostle Gray Millstone rule and teach well. Shalom, this is Brother Kwan from Gray Millstone Dallas Camp. Coming at you with a quick lesson tonight, man. The spirit by Yah Bashim Yah Shai. I'll get into, into this real quick and I'm going to close it out. You know, the moral of the lesson is, you know, <clears throat> as it says here in the search bar, who has resisted his will? All right. And to go into how the Heavenly Father has set up Esau Edom. In these in these last days, man, Esau Edom. This is a message to you to let you know, a hey, all these riches that you have gotten through ill gains, a hey, it's, it's 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 all gonna come back to to our hands, man. You know, because Yahweh Bashim Hal Shai, who the word really calls God and Jesus Christ, all right, has set you up in this earth to be the most wickedest, vilest creature upon all the creatures that have been created on this earth, man. You know? You are not your own. This is Daniel chapter 4 and verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. Yahweh ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomever so whomsoever he will and set it up over over it the basis of men all right just as it says in uh job 9 and 24 you know the the wit the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked all right because that's the basis of men that's the base man that's the lowliest creature when it comes to mankind man which is you self-proclaimed white people y'all are the wicked the and, and the devil and Satan that the scriptures speak about in majority of the scriptures, man. It tells you in Malachi first chapter that the that Esau Edom is the border of wickedness, man. Wickedness begins and it ends there in in the nation of Esau Edom. Alright. This is Romans chapter nine and verse nineteen. That will say then unto me, Why doeth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Nobody has resisted the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Nigh, but O oh man, who art thou that replies against the Most High? Shall a thing formed to say unto him that formed it? Why hast thou made made me thus? All right. Can Esau eat him? Ask the Most High, why you make me the wicked? No, man. All right. Verse nine, verse twenty one. Has not the potter over the clay? And who is the potter in this? The most high is the potter. The potter in the clay is the creation, man, of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. All right? And that vessel that's on the honor is the Israelites. The one that's on the, on the dishonor, that's, the, that's Esau, Edom, and the rest of the heathen, man. Okay? The Heavenly Father has created all these things for his pleasure, man. And un, none else. All right. It tells you that in uh, Proverbs 8 chapter, man. All right. Let's get another one. This is Proverbs chapter 16. Let me see. Ooh, uh, man. That's not what I want. Uh, hmm. Slakia, I believe. Uh. Slakia. Hmm. There's one in Proverbs that I want to get. But I don't remember where it is. It's all good. Let me get this one up here. This will work out. This is good. Verse 4. Proverbs 16 and verse 4. Yahweh hath made all things for himself. Alright. Yeah. Even the wicked for the day of evil, man. 
All right, and the wicked, as we just went over it, the wicked is Esau Edom, the whole nation of you self proclaimed white people, man. All right, y'all are the wicked, man. Okay, and for these coming days that we're coming into, in the day of judgment of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man. All right, when all hell breaks loose throughout the world, that majority of that judgment that's going to be going out is going to be for Esau Edom and his whole nation, man. All right. And then y'all after 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 the Lord is done with the with the plagues on this place, man. All right. They're going to return from whence they came. And the Lord is going to send us down out of heaven, man, and we're going to put y'all niggas in chains, man. All right. Thus said the scriptures. This is a uh, Let's get a uh, Revelations real quick. One, uh, he's the spirit trying to switch on him. I get a, I get a couple. In Revelation chapter thirteen and verse nine: If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All right. If you've been, if you've, if you've led someone into captivity, you're gonna go into captivity, man. All right. Us being Israelites, hell, we even led all the heathen when we was ruling under King David and King Solomon. We led all the heathen under in, into captivity, man. All right, and we went into captivity, and we the Lord's people. We the Lord's. We 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 are the ones that Yahweh Bashem Shah care about more than anybody, man. All right, and we've been in captivity for generations, man. Thousands of years of straight captivity. You know that's why the scripture is written. Is Israel a homeborn slave, man? Because we've been through a lot as a people, you know? But all that's coming to an end, thus said Yahweh, Bashim Shai. Verse 10 again in Revelation 13, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. And the saints are, are, the, are the Israelites, man. Thus tells you uh, Psalms 50 of chapter. All right, this is what the saints of Yahweh Shemel Shai is waiting on, man. We're waiting on this time period in the earth to where we can put you damn heathen in this into utter subjection, man. But according to Revelation 19, hey, our big brother Yahweh Shai is gonna get first dibs on that, man. Then we gonna then we gonna back though Yahweh Shai and help him out, man. You know what I'm saying? This is uh Isaiah 14th chapter. And then I'm going to end it out. Oh, let me see. I had it written down. Fuck it. Okay. 14 and 16. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 16. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that make the whole earth to tremble? All right, this is going to be Esau Edom in the kingdom, man. He's going to be low, all right? Has the hammer of the whole earth broken asunder, man? Okay, and that hammer in that scripture was talking about Esau Edom and his rulership. The one that went around the whole world and put the whole all the whole world in subjection under him, man. All right, by the way of military might, using the sword. Okay. Um. Yeah, the bottom of uh verse sixteen. Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did shake kingdoms. All right, that's right. All right, how did he shake kingdoms? He shook kingdoms by the way of his blessing, man. All right, which is his military. And he went and when he really physically shook a kingdom, that was when he uh when he started he he developed the atomic bombs, man. All right, and started dropping them on the on these heathen nations, man. Verse seventeen, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house. Of his prisoners, all the kings of the nations, even all of them, lay lie in glory, every one in his own house. But thou art cast out of the grave like an abominable branch. 
And as the remnant of those that are slain thirst through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden underfoot, thou shalt not be joined with them in burial because thou hast destroyed the land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Bro, that's how, the Lord is talking about a whole nation of people right here, man. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. They that, that they do not rise, nor possess the lands, nor fill the faces of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, said the how of hosts, and cut off from Babylon, cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, said Yahweh. I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the beasts of my destruction, said Yahweh of hosts. And that's talking about the nuclear destruction right there, man. All right. <laughs> the Lord say he's going to sweep it with the beast of destruction, man. Verse 24. Yahweh of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have proposed, so shall it stand. That I will break the Assyrian in my land, and upon my mountains tread him underfoot. Then shall his yoke depart from off them, and his burden depart from off their shoulders all right now Assyrians talking about you saw Edom today man and that the burden off their shoulders is us being released out of our captivity man this is the purpose that is pr proposed upon the whole earth and that this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations man it says this is the hand that is stretched out, out upon all the nations Revelation 19 goes into that perfectly because the hand of Yahweh is Yahweh Shai, man. He will be stretched out upon all nations and he will be ruling all people, all kinds and manners of people with an iron fist, man. All right. And he's going to have his, his holy nation under him as well, man. And we're going to be in order, in a heavenly order. All right. Under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And we're gonna rule these king these king these king these uh heathen, all right, with an iron fist, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Lord willing, that was edifying. With that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Hey, Esau Edom, man. <laughs> y'all going down, man. Y'all ain't got too much time left here in y'all rulership, man. Shalom.